Hey everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. Today you guys I'm letting you see or I'm showing you how I content plan for the month and how I plan in my business planner for the month. Um, here I'm content planning. I'm at my admin days. As you can see I've already put in some stuff. I just started to content plan because I needed it done because uh, tomorrow is the first and I needed to be on task. Also I was just shooting some b-roll for another video. Um, I've sectioned off where I will be shipping out the budget box, which is number one priority um, for my business. And here I'm just putting down my important tasks. I like to have those there with dates and deadlines so that way I'm aware. So I basically content plan on this one month um, on a page by cloth and paper. I used it for the month of February. That's why you guys got four videos a week. It worked. I noticed an uptick in my um, subscribers. I noticed an uptick in my watch hours. So I wanted to do that again. Again, this is some B-roll. So ignore that this is in a vertical form. And then I started to plan my monthly um, on my monthly calendar. Here, I don't put content generally. I just do um, a lot of the budget box things. Um, you'll see I'm using my busy stickers, quote unquote. <laughs> but I like to show the days that I'm busy in the salon, even in my business planner. So that way, I won't plan too much. <clears throat> I'll know that maybe um, I can't do, let's say, a video or I'll need to pre-record some videos or batch some videos because on those days or that week I'm busy. Here I like to use our functional stickers in Ice Milk to plan out what's going on that week and mainly for the budget box like what needs to be done that week, what needs to be finalized that week. I did get this idea from the planner spot and I love it. Um, it definitely keeps me organized and lets me see what needs to be done like um, you'll see graphics need to be done or supplies need to be ordered and that's my last week to do it. I don't can't go into the third week ordering let's say paper or sticker paper or something like that because I've learned that sometimes things get put on delay so I try to have certain things done ahead of time um, and then of course the third week is sub week so that lets me see this is the week subs go out. So if I have videos to do or I have envelopes to do or anything like that for Etsy or um, hair or whatever, it needs to be done ahead of time or I need to be able to fit it into my schedule. And so I do love these functional stickers. You can find these in our shop. I love to use them. They fit perfectly here. They are like one and a quarter inch. And I made them that way so that they could, you see I'm struggling, so that they could fit in most of my planners and that I could use them. But they work perfect for here on my um, left-hand side of my calendar. So I'll just go in. I, like I said, I don't typically put in content on this planner, on this calendar. I used to before I started using them one month on a page, but for some reason... I don't know I just really didn't do do much with it but that one month on a page works for me for content this is mainly like my bills that are related to the shop um, I use this for like the newsletter and also again mainly planning for the budget box but I love this uh, calendar you can also find this calendar in my shop as well but here I'm just adding um, my paydays I will also use a highlight sticker for my shop a little dot sticker to bring my eye to that as well those are my paydays from either Etsy or Shopify and um, that just brings my eye to it and sometimes I don't get a check <laughs> on these days but here lately by me just typically just writing it in or putting down that I'm getting paid on a Tuesday I get something I've gotten five dollars for the week <laughs> and I'm satisfied so I had put down this announcement sticker because I was going to make my announcement of the budget box going up this weekend, but I decided today was the day. So I made the announcement on Instagram and my stories. And so I really don't need that anymore. So again, I'm just highlighting those paydays. And I'm really just trying to get used out of my stickers because sometimes I just don't use them all. I'm referencing last month, which is February, just to see if there's anything that I forgot that I typically do and that um, I haven't written in. So I'm just basically just kind of 
um, using that as a reference. And my desk was a mess <laughs> because I was working on envelopes, I was getting orders out, and then I cleaned it off so I could do the video and shoot the B-roll. And so, yeah, I was working with limited space, but I did get it cleared off enough to get the video done. But um, I love planning in my business planner because it definitely keeps me on track. I have a video in the works of how I kind of stay on track in my business by planning. So now I'm referencing my content planner to see if there's something on there related to the box, like what I need to do. And I'm putting in that I need to do my email newsletter. That should be done tomorrow. Um, that's the first. And just anything else that can go in here besides content. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Like, this is what I do on a monthly basis. And I realized I have a whole process. So I was like, I need to show them my process. And there's other little small uh, tidbits that I do um, in my business as far as planning for the month. But I just wanted to show you guys just a little bit of how I plan and get things done and try to be effective in my business. So it's working for me and I'm glad that I could share it with you guys. And I really appreciate those who have subscribed to the box and um, look forward to giving you more great content on this channel. And I realized I did not block off that time for shipping. And so that's what I just did with the ruler and the highlighter. And that's it, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching.